Welcome to Care Coordination and Interoperable Health IT Systems, Unit 9, Expanding Access with Technology. This is Lecture A, Introduction to Mobile Health Technologies. The component, Care Coordination and Interoperable Health IT Systems, is an overview of how interoperable health IT systems are organized to support care coordination services. This unit, Expanding Access with Technology, will cover the topics of mHealth and telehealth in regards to their use in the coordination of care. The objectives for this unit, Expanding Access with Technology, Lecture A, are to name and describe three mobile health or mHealth technologies and describe a real-world scenario in which a mHealth technology is used to achieve better coordination of care. This introductory lecture will provide a high-level perspective on the use of mobile health technology to expand access to care for the purposes of care coordination. We will begin by defining the term mobile health or mHealth. M Health is defined as the provision of health-related services using mobile telecommunication and multimedia technologies. This definition is from the M Health Alliance. The World Health Organization defines M Health as the medical and public health practice supported by mobile devices such as mobile phones, patient monitoring devices, personal digital assistants (PDAs) and other wireless devices. In addition, mHealth may refer to data from mobile apps and sensors. These data can be used to inform healthcare decisions and or treatments. These data can also be used to drive communication by connecting patients with their providers. The term mHealth is also used to refer to health interventions delivered using mobile technologies for prevention, treatment, or behavior change, all important components in care coordination. Sometimes mHealth is used synonymously with digital health, e-health, and telehealth. Since mHealth is quickly blending into healthcare workflows, it characterizes the patient's ability to use their mobile devices to access healthcare whenever and wherever they want it. The use of mHealth tools has expanded from the basic pager, phone calls, website, video smartphone, tablet, portal, or personal health record and email to now more sophisticated forms of mHealth that include communicating via SMS or short message service. SMS is a text messaging service component of phone, web, or mobile communication systems. SMS can be used to communicate appointment reminders or to facilitate quick correspondence between the patient and the provider. Advanced mHealth also includes the collection of physiological sensor data from glucometers or blood pressure cuffs and the use of connected devices such as a Bluetooth scale or wearables and trackers such as Fitbit. The use of electronic pill boxes with SMS messaging is also a new mHealth development. Although organizations are excited to innovate in this area and deploy many different tools to patients and families, this rapid proliferation of independent mHealth tools presents a challenge in the presentation of a coordinated, patient-centered health IT tool to the patient. This is an important piece to note during the education and training of clinicians and patients. Moving forward, it will be important to integrate data from various devices, tools, and applications to enable patients with multiple health issues to manage all of their care under one place. With the growing list of devices, it is important to understand the uses for such devices and how they can be leveraged in care coordination activities. Digitus Health 
found that consumers use mobile phones in three ways for healthcare. One, it is used to access the mobile web for understanding symptoms, researching available treatments, and learning about a disease. Two, it is used to access mobile applications for tracking symptoms as well as understanding and managing conditions. And three, the mobile phone is used for SMS text messaging for medication reminders, talking to a healthcare provider, and getting a prescription refill. Digitus also showed that people that use mHealth tools are more engaged in health, more likely to follow medical advice, and be more proactive about treatments. mHealth tools have been developed to support the continuum of health. Tools that support wellness are aimed at tracking food and exercise, such as MyFitnessPal and MapMyFitness. Yoga Studio and Calm were developed to support the brain and the mind-body connection. There are also tools to support sleep, such as Twilight or Up From Jawbone. In the area of communication, there are a number of messaging tools to communicate health information when it's needed most and to streamline the patient-provider communication. mHealth tools are used for appointment requests and reminders and to share lab results so that patients can view in a timely fashion. They can also be used to document and communicate personal information, such as a current health profile and insurance information, to avoid mistakes and obtain the most current, up-to-date data. Tools such as Voice and Echo, developed by Cypher Health, can record voice communications so that patients and families can review instructions in their own time, since generally patients and families receive a lot of information all at once during healthcare visits. Health coaching and telehealth activities can also be accomplished by using mHealth tools. Omada Health and Noom Health have tools that offer the use of a health coach that can monitor patient use and provide real-time support and feedback through the application. Teledietitian can be used for video nutrition consults from any mobile device. There are also a number of tools to support the management of chronic diseases. Glucose Buddy can be used to monitor glucose levels, exercise, and nutritional intake. Noom Health delivers the National Diabetes Prevention Program with a health coach via a mobile application and the Use Inhalers application supported by the COPD Foundation provides instructions on how to use an inhaler. Looking at ways patients are using such mHealth tools will guide the best ways to apply mHealth for care coordination. In the context of care coordination, mHealth tools have the potential to be powerful in the enhancement of patient-provider engagement. And while there is little scientific evidence supporting the effectiveness of mHealth, many organizations view it as a way to improve current healthcare services by informing and engaging patients in their healthcare. It is also worth noting that the degree to which mHealth apps will add value to the patient provider relationship will vary with patient readiness to make behavioral changes and their willingness to communicate with providers. However, in a systematic review done by Aranda John et al., researchers found that in Africa, mHealth projects in general demonstrated positive health-related outcomes. Another systematic review by Gagnon et al. found that healthcare professionals believe that their relationships with patients are improved with the use of mHealth tools. As more mHealth tools are put to use, it will be important to closely examine the potential intended benefits. Refer to Component 25 for more information on patient-provider communication and patient engagement. The functions and capabilities of mHealth tools offer the opportunity to support a number of care coordination activities. Readmissions may be avoided with enhanced communication methods. Patients and families have the ability to send questions to the provider or quickly schedule an outpatient visit, which could potentially avoid an unneeded inpatient admission. With the messaging of appointment reminders, 
and the ability to schedule or reschedule electronically, M Health Tools can assist with the scheduling of follow up visits or rescheduling of visits. M Health Tools can provide easy to access educational materials, which can answer critical questions and assist with shared decision making, as well as overall adherence and compliance. M Health Tools can provide an easy way to receive medication refills, which can contribute to increased medication compliance. There are many opportunities for M Health to benefit care coordination activities. Evaluation of such M Health interventions will be important to fully understand the impact of M Health tools. This concludes Lecture A Introduction to Mobile Health Technologies of Unit 9 Expanding Access with Technology. In summary, M Health is the use of mobile apps and digital health tools for health and health care. Patient and provider communication may be enhanced with M Health tools. The use of M Health applications spans the continuum from wellness to illness, but may be useful in the support of care coordination activities.